wastewater. Testing it can be a strong indicator of how many people have the virus that causes COVID-19 within a community, regardless of whether or not they have symptoms or have been tested. Because traces of the virus SARS-CoV-2 have been found in human waste. It doesn't tell us how many people had COVID. What it tells us is that the amount of virus in our waste stream uh, doubled or was cut in half or went up by a third or went up by 10 percent or down by 10 percent. But in order for it to work, the lab the city is working with has to provide a quick turnaround of the results. It really was early November and we got the kinks worked out. And with the holidays right around the corner. Do you now see any kind of rise at this point? We saw a slight decline uh, yesterday. But that doesn't mean we're in the clear. They had two ICU beds available this morning. The mayor says that's among ICU units in Carmel. The rate of recovery for COVID-19 is difficult to quantify, but it's not just about COVID-19. It's about the capacity of our healthcare system to care for all people with or without COVID-19. That's the biggest problem. And it's why we're inoculating healthcare workers first. And there's people with heart attacks and strokes that may need those beds as well they may not be available. But more ICU units could be made. We have other surgery centers we could use as hospitals uh, in the area. But staffing the units in hospitals is another issue. If more people who are interacting with these COVID-19 patients every day get sick and have to quarantine or have to go in the hospital themselves, uh, we're not going to be able to staff our hospitals. Health officials are hoping everyone will heed their warnings as we head into the holiday season. Carmel says they now have an early detection system in place that will help them alert officials if they don't.